Okay. Yeah. Uh, so let's get started, right? Okay. Uh, we, we'll, why don't we just pray and um, we'll start. Father, we thank you for this uh, for this time together. We thank you for this um, yet another semester, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for this um, for this subject that uh, we're all together, that we're going to be pursuing. And Lord, we, we ask for an outpouring of your grace and wisdom, Lord, even as we do so. And so we, uh, we come at the days ahead. We come at this time into your mighty hands. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Yeah, wishes all around. Happy New Year once again. Happy 2023. God bless you guys. Uh, good to see you all. Good to see all the familiar names uh, once again. And of course, uh, we've been in touch with a few. Uh, so nice to see you all. Okay, so, um, so this subject that we're going to be looking at uh, this semester is independent research. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, as the name suggests, it's... Um, uh, it's it's research research, which uh, each one of you will be doing individually, independently. Uh, it's so it's not a team effort. It's an independent effort, and uh, so the so the work would involve researching a, a topic, and uh, so I'll just talk about that. Okay, what it involves, what you would need to do. And um, so we're going to be meeting just once a week. And uh, also, it may not be a full session, right? Some some weeks we may, we don't need to meet, um, but we will, uh, and I will just announce it, um, you know, maybe we can meet once in two weeks also, certain sometimes. Uh, but we're going to be looking at uh, uh, certain, maybe progress uh, as we go along, uh, about each person's research, and uh, also maybe some questions to be addressed, maybe some course corrections, uh, etc. Right. So, um, so yeah. Before we start, I just wanted to uh, read um, uh, one verse, which is in the Gospel of Luke, right? Uh, Luke chapter one, and uh, the first few verses. Um, it's it's quite an eye opener. Right. We see um, Luke chapter 1, verse 1, if you'd like to um, follow in your Bibles. It says, Inasmuch as many have taken in hand to set in order a narrative of those things which have been fulfilled among us, just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word delivered them to us, it seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write to you, an orderly account, most excellent Theophilus, that you may know the certainty of those things in which you were instructed. Verse 3, the second part, uh, it seemed good to me. Um, and he says, you know, to write to you an orderly account, most excellent Theophilus, an account of, of course, the, uh, the uh, everything that he understood. And he was inspired by the Spirit of God to write these, but he says, you know, an orderly account. And verse 4, that you may know the certainty of those things in which you were instructed. So Dr. Luke, as we know, who wrote the Gospel and the Book of Acts, right, he goes about uh, uh, writing down a narrative, uh, a chronological series of things that happened during his time and about the life of Jesus. Um, and he says, having had this understanding, I want to put together an orderly account and that you may know the certainty of those things uh, in which you are instructed. So this putting together an, of, an, of this account, an orderly account, uh, is uh, going to you know, bless Theophilus uh, that he may know the certainty of those things in which he was already instructed in. So something that he could refer to, something that he could go back to and uh, you know, uh, and and he was obviously it's going to be um, something that uh, he can go back to over and over again. Something that will help him. Okay. So when we look at this uh, uh, research, independent research, um, uh, in a way, it's like that. You know, it's an orderly account. 
it's going to be uh, a topic um, that you're going to you know look into get into the details of uh, within the scope of this time frame right this time frame of uh, like right from today till maybe end of April, but it actually will be less than that. Um, so to look into certain topics, to look into certain you know, uh, information, put it together, present it, uh, give your suggestions, give your thoughts, give your, uh, you know, your conclusions uh, about certain things, um, that it might help others, it might help the reader. So uh, I'd like us to you know, look at it beyond the scope of uh of the course right as something that is required for the course you know all of you are in the final semester and these are the final uh, you know uh, i'm talking to the online students of course uh, and this is the final semester and final uh, you know subjects few subjects that you're doing um as as part of the bth or as part of you know whatever courses you've picked and uh, you know selected um uh, but the thing is, is to look at this paper as something, the scope of it as something beyond that, right? Uh, the the time frame for this course is is less. You know, it's when we say it's Jan to April, we're already in the first week, and uh, we end it in April. By mid-April, we should actually be technically done with the report, with the findings, with the conclusions, so that uh, we can start with the presentations. Right. Um, so the report presentations in class for the online students, it will be videos that they will make and upload, uh, which will be again assessed. So um, so let's just uh, get into what this course is about. Okay, what uh, IRP is all uh, all about in the independent research paper is all about. So the objective is this. You know, we may have read it in the course, uh, you know, introduction uh, and also in. Uh, the guideline that was uploaded we go to we'll we'll get into the details of that uh, in a bit so it is to um, to explore to identify something the thought a title a topic to explore that to research on that okay and to present the findings uh, with some conclusions right in the form of a paper which means in the form of a written report okay um and also a presentation where you present okay this is what the research is about this is what the topic is about etc okay so in uh, that simply put it is that so uh, how will this uh, help us as students so it will help each of us as students each of you as students to uh, to to explore a particular topic you know, to do a self-study of a particular topic um, and where it does not have a set uh, syllabus and say, okay, this is what it is. You know, these are the topics that we are going, this is the introduction, these are the topics, you know, where you will be pursuing, researching uh, and finding out things uh, about that particular topic. Okay. So let me just present the, the, uh, the guidelines and uh, show you that okay here we go okay um i guess you can see that yeah okay Um, just a minute, please. Okay, so so this is the objective: to pursue an ind independent research on a particular topic. It can be a thought, it can be an idea, um, but the topic has to be something related to the Word of God. You know, it it can be a topic from the Bible. Okay, uh, we'll have some time for questions um, after this, soon after this. So it can be a a topic from the Bible, in the sense, maybe you're exploring something on uh, on faith, maybe you're exploring something on gifts of the Spirit, uh, but it should not be something that we have already dealt with during the course. Okay, so either you're, let's say, in the third year, you might be uh, having, uh, I, I don't know if you're uh, handling, um, you know, something worship ministry, 
if you're going to be studying that okay as a paper so it cannot be something that you're currently uh, looking at and studying okay or something in the past maybe something to do with the uh, you know the first semester second semester um, but it has to be uh, you know even if you if you're let's say you're considering something uh, as a subject uh, or a title something that you've already uh, covered but it should be uh, an angle or it should be some details that we have not studied in the past okay so the idea is that it's the notes are not there notes have not been given it's not something that we discussed in class now it's not something the lectures have been attended to in the past but it's something fresh and new okay it can be a biblical topic something you know a biblical doctrine but with a fresh angle you know if you're looking at faith a completely fresh uh, angle uh, that you want to you know research okay so it can be an issue it, it can be a challenge a social uh, you know a social challenge a social problem uh, it can be a political thing uh, an issue that is political in nature something that is religious in nature uh, it can be any new thought idea concept so uh, it can be any of that but the thing is this in the research okay in the research report or in the research uh, um, that you're pursuing you are actually bringing out a biblical perspective of it okay so if it is a social challenge that you're addressing okay there is a, let's say a problem of uh, uh, addiction there's a problem of uh, pornography uh, a drug addiction drug abuse in this particular thing and then uh, you're researching you know a particular maybe a village maybe a city and uh, you're you want to bring out some ideas or bring out some solution to that uh, bring a biblical perspective to it bring a biblical perspective to why that problem ex exists bring a biblical perspective to how to walk out of it the steps or the path of recovery right so bring a biblical uh, uh, um, uh, insight uh, to that whole thing okay so it's not about the subjects that we are looking at definitely not that we have already looked at Okay, so uh, let's uh, stop uh, right here. Uh, any thoughts, any uh, questions on this? About the topic, about the research. Uh, we're going to look at you know the methodology. We're going to look at uh, uh, some of the things, the timeline uh, in a bit. Um, so are you clear? You know this is what it is so each of you each of uh, uh, you know every student is going to be um, you know thinking about okay some topic that you can pursue you can you can refer to uh, maybe you can look into the word and uh, you know research the word or research with any other information and uh, it could be in the form of a problem it could be in the form of uh, you know something that is some struggle uh, but you're maybe researching that in order to find out a solution and uh, presenting a biblical perspective of it, right? Uh, biblical perspective of the problem, biblical perspective of the solution, uh, of the, uh, you know, uh, the answers to it, right? Um, so that's, uh, so in a nutshell, that's, that's what the whole, uh, you know, the subject is about, okay? Okay, so Asha is asking, is it going to be on MS Word or PowerPoint? Okay, so um, so let, let's uh, just hold that question, Asha. So we'll just uh, go through uh, what is the timeline, and also I'll come to come back to the report part of it. Okay, okay. So um, so there's a one-page summary of your research topic. So the first thing to uh, first responsibility. The first task would be to uh, to come to okay what is the topic that i want to research on okay what is the topic that i want to research on okay do i do i want to do a research on okay how to reach millennials okay how to reach out to millennials how to share the gospel to millennials so um, okay so who are the millennials you know what is their lifestyle what is their outlook in life um, 
you know is it it's like postmodernism so there's no constant there's no ab, no, you know there's no ab, absolutes uh, you know all those things and um, you know how do i reach out or maybe you're you know in a particular country and in in your in your country in your in your city you know um, uh, you'd like to maybe do some some kind of a ministry and so you you want to you know uh, research that uh, ministry among a certain group of people and which you know which you okay this is the challenges this, these are the group of people um, this is their background so so the topic the, or the title that you got the topic of your research is very very important okay so now the topic also would give you the scope of research so what do we mean by that okay the scope would be okay what are what are the things that you're going to be researching okay how big is it um, is that uh, that how big is your research going to be okay how small is your research so it's very important because the time frame that we have is uh, one semester like you know let's say four months jan feb march april and it's kind of uh, maybe three and a half is what you can take into account right so the time frame is very important so within that time frame um, what is the kind of research that i can do you know let's say if i'm going to be saying okay uh, what are what is the church the global church doing in terms of outreach now that's a very very vast uh, scope okay so that's a very very vast area so if you're saying what is a global church then you have to break it down into in terms of continents you have to break it down in terms of countries uh, which means that you will have to do a research on each of the you know nation in that continent to really present something that is substantial you know the data that you're presenting the information because it cannot be just hearsay right it has to be data right this is what i looked into this is what i researched this is the uh, or this is the uh, information based on which i'm presenting these facts right so it has to be that so uh, so when you are thinking of the title think about okay i have this is this time this is the these are the days that i have so within that time frame you know what what is that meaningful research that i can do okay uh, so think about that so we have a we have a uh, date for the submission of the title uh, submission of the uh, topic so which is uh, 23rd of january 23rd of this month okay so on or before a uh, monday which is the 23rd of this month so um, yeah let me just double check the date 23rd right so uh, one page summary okay this is the topic and this is uh, this is what i want to do okay um, and I, this is what i'd like to how i'd like to go about just a one page summary of the research topic why you chose that and uh, what you'd like to do of course we'll discuss that in class also um, so you can actually present that right uh, we can talk about it um, the thing is this um, there might be some refining okay you might uh, and i i might uh, give some suggestions okay maybe the topic uh, uh, might be too vague maybe i might give some suggestions you know why do you why don't you consider you know uh, something on these lines etc so uh, we can fine tune that so once the topic is uh, you know approved uh, then you start start the research Okay, collection of information, reading up, maybe collecting articles on it. People who have already maybe done some research on it, you can check uh, on the internet, check in a library, uh, and find more information on it. Okay, so that's the so the first task right before us is uh, to find a topic of interest, uh, and like I said, it could be something uh, from the Word of God itself, a biblical doctrine, or maybe you know. Uh, uh, at biblical times you know uh, you can you know it can you can it can be anything right so uh, maybe in the old testament understanding of grace whatever uh, so it can it can be that uh, but you go into it and then you say okay this is you you finalize on the topic this is what i'm going to be doing um and then once that is approved then there's no turning back 
okay once we decide okay this is what it is then it's better that you know you put all because you're going to be putting all your efforts into it um and once we start uh, it's better that we don't change the topic okay so the these two weeks we'll um take maybe after that uh, conversation that we have uh, on uh, 24th of january it's better it's best not to change the topic right once we fine tune it once we finalize it that's it you go ahead with it okay the second thing is that uh, there is a uh, on the 27th of february so a month from the time we finalize the topic um you give a status of what work is happening you know what are the readings that have been done uh, what research has been done what data has been collected and how you've been going about collecting information all that right uh, it could be questionnaires it could be you know maybe interviews maybe it could be data from the net right um, like interviews and questionnaires if it's going to be some qualitative information right um, people's thoughts and ideas and where they are etc so that kind of information um, through discussions um, we could do that okay so uh, a status of that work uh, is to be submitted on uh, uh, on february in february um, 27th of february a month from the time we finalize the topic then the final um, research paper the final presentation the report um, we will keep the date as 10th april um, then after 10th april um, we will have the presentations in class uh, so all students can actually present right um, so the presentation time limit would be about maybe 10 minutes or even less so just give a very uh, brief presentation right of course your the research paper the, the what you submit will have all the details so uh, we'll be able to go through that Okay, so there are some um, uh, ways in which it needs to be done. Uh, E-learning students, uh, there's uh, some instructions there uh, uh, in the guidelines that is uploaded. Please go through that. Okay, so uh, it, with regard to the uh, report, uh, we're going to follow the MLA format uh, and details is, uh, are given there. Right? What is the MLA format um, the, in terms of font? Uh, font size, spacing, margins, paragraph, everything. Uh, it is given there uh, very clearly, so you can go through that. Um, of course, it's not going to be a hard report, so there's no you know, specifications on paper and, and what kind of binding, etc. Right? So, um, like uh, what Asha asked, so this is it. So it's, uh, it is a document, it is a Word document. When you make your presentations, uh, Asha, you you know you can uh, obviously you can use a PowerPoint and present, but the pres the report has to be presented. Uh, it is a MLA format. It's a it's a Word doc, right? So so that is uh, that is what it is. Um, so I will also um, you know put the template there uh, in the resource section. I'll upload a template. Um, also for the e-learning students, there will be a template. So you can, you know, you can go through what the MLA format is about and you can fo follow the template. You can use the template for your final report, right? So when, we, when it comes to that. Okay, so um, let me stop this. Okay, so any questions? Any questions on the nature of... Uh, Report, yes, say, would you like to? Yeah, go ahead, please. Yeah, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I can hear you, please. Thank you, sir. Yes, I, I definitely um, thank you for um, taking us through um, what to do for the research. I just wanted to get more clarity on um, um, references. Um, are you going to be expecting a lot of references or are you fine with purely creative and um, 
fruitful interpretation. For instance, if you if you take a subject matter from the scriptures, mm -hmm. are you are you fine with just like the whole research being just purely uh, inter uh, truthful interpretations and um, thoughts mm -hmm. on what that subject matter means in terms within the confines of the scriptures or are you also expecting that we go an extra amount you know to hear the thoughts of others on that particular subject matter yeah then, so um then, okay good sir good. yeah i i get it so so in terms of uh, you know if it is an original thought obviously you know that's that's perfectly fine you know uh, your your understanding of it and presenting that that is fine but if you're going to be presenting or you know in your report referencing other authors um referencing other maybe um, you know speakers or uh, yeah people who have written ar articles it's um, it definitely you would have to reference that because it's not your you know original thought so it's uh, it, it will be required to reference that and if it's going to be of course scripture uh, you would it obviously uh, what would help be helpful is to you know reference the scripture portion the chapter verse and uh, and put that as well yeah thank you pastor Right, see. So, uh, one more question from Abhishek. Uh, show us any sample it would be better to understand. Yeah, the, so the template will be there, Abhishek. Uh, but, uh, you know, a sample report, um, actually, I, I, I really don't have permission to, it was the students, it's the students' work, right? So they've submitted that. Um, let me check. Um, but the thing is, uh, and I also don't want to influence the, the topic and the title that uh, you know you want to choose so uh, maybe i can just put some i mean i can list down some sample research topics um if that would help right so your so your question is uh, on the report side or on the topic side abhishek Um, Maxon will have your question a little bit uh, yeah, after this. Yeah, both the topic and the uh, time. See, with regard, with regard to the report, uh, I, I'll just uh, put the template and share the template. I think that would be more than sufficient. Um, but with regard to the topic, maybe I can just share a few examples uh, of the research topics, and that would, that would be helpful. Okay. But uh, yeah, the, what I really, what I really don't want to do is like allow these to influence your, uh, you know, your, uh, uh, I mean, whatever topic that you're picking. I don't know, not too much, rather. It should just uh, give some idea where you want to go. Um, yeah. Okay. So um, right, um, Maxon, and after that, uh, Chris. Okay, my question is on project presentation. You said maybe presentation of report should be like 10 minutes, but the, on final draft, it's on like minimum 25 pages. So yeah. how can in 10 minutes, 25 pages can be read? No, no, you, you, uh, so yeah, so the presentation is just 10 minutes, which means you just touch upon uh, some aspects of your research, what you, how you went about doing it, and um, what you covered, um, but your in-depth work of data, of tables, of uh, you know all the other information, will be in the report, which I, which I can read through. So, so that, so that's fine. So the ten minutes is just to give an overview, uh, and maybe if there are some questions that I might. Uh, have I can ask that and you can answer that so yeah okay I understand yeah so it's not going to be a line by line presenting of the entire report uh, we don't want that so yeah okay so Chris and after that uh, Harrison 
Uh, yes, Pastor. I wanted to know regarding the draft. Um, uh, the draft that we will submit is there is there some sort of a format to that um, and, and what uh, how it will uh, you know how will it sort of you know uh, provide some view of the uh, progress of of the report. Um, so I just wanted to understand uh, because that's happening one month afterwards. So yeah, yeah so so one month uh, you know it's just a uh, a draft of uh, whatever you have done. Um, so there's no format to that. See, obviously, it's it's too early to uh, start putting together as a report uh, because it wouldn't have reached any uh, you know sh uh, stage of completion. No? So so it's just in your own words. Uh, it's just a one one page thing. So that's about it. Okay. And yeah. my other question was just with regards to uh, uh, you know when we when we uh, provide this report. Mm -hmm. um, is there any sort of possible outcomes to this, or is it just some, 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 just a just a way to evaluate uh, each student? Uh, do you see any sort of uh, outcome to this? Um, well, first and foremost, it's uh, it's evaluation of uh, of the student, of the subject, and the title, and and for the for the purpose of the course. Um, but beyond that, I mean, it's left to the student. If you want to, you know, put it in a in a like, I mean, use it as a blog or use it in a different forum altogether. That's uh, that's left to the student. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Harrison, uh, your question. All right. Thank you. Um, good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah. I want to find out, OK, from the instructions given, which you said a minimum of 25 pages and maximum of 30 pages. So my question is, does it mean that it should not exceed 30 pages? Yes, it can be uh, it, it confined to 30 pages, please. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, OK. OK, any other? Questions? Okay. Um, okay, probably, uh, I'm sure there'll be more questions as we go along. Um, but if there are no, uh, but uh, if there are no questions about the topic or the title, um, maybe we can we can wind up the class and um, see the next class is on the 17th so yeah yeah chris i'm just coming back to you uh, so on the 17th you know maybe you can talk about the titles talk about the direction in which you want to go and uh, and we can discuss that refine that right yeah chris Uh, no, in the, in the document you have mentioned about e-learning students. So, what about online students? How will they do the presentation? We'll have it uh, in class. Okay, so they'll do it online. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it online, real time, and then e-learning will record it and update it, uh, upload it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So start thinking about it. Uh, thinking about what uh, maybe some things that have been, you know. No, this. Uh, so, Roshan. So that's the idea. You know, the subject is going to be different. Uh, it's not the same for everyone. So you are free to pursue whatever has uh, you know interested you, whatever has bothered you, troubled you, maybe, and uh, you want to you know find uh, more depth uh, uh, of information about that thing, or maybe a solution. Um, so you can you know. I think one way to look at it is okay. What is what is it that is close to your heart? What is it that's both in terms of what is it that you're really passionate about? You know, when it comes to you know these things, also something that has been bothering, troubling, which you would you know find a solution for. Um, yeah, so it can be. I think it, that would be helpful. Um, yeah. Like, for example, uh, yeah, I'll just share some thoughts. Um, there was this person, 
um, some years back who did a research on on women ministers you know and this was uh, and the scope of that was uh, her own town um, so it was a village in Karnataka North Karnataka so women ministers um, so it was about how uh, about the churches so again the scope was different churches um, so the well the organized uh, organized churches or the churches that have been there right from the start institutionally uh, you know uh, are different denominations rather and uh, how each one responded to women in ministry and uh, so she also interviewed certain women uh, who were there serving at present and some of the challenges uh, and past and present etc so you know she presented all those uh, those kind of information so yeah she had some some it was i think um, maybe covid times so it was telephonic interviews some questionnaires which she sent and so it was a mix of all that uh, which she did in order to find out um yeah so it was interesting to to really know that um, you know while we talk about women in ministry and maybe in a you know urban setting uh, we are more open uh, well it was interesting to see uh, what how the church was responding reacting to women in ministry right some of the resistance uh, from the leadership some of the resistance from the you know, people to whom they were ministering, how eager they were to receive, how resistant. So it was it was nice uh, to go through that. And of course, the biblical perspective, you know, the women in ministry. Uh, so it was good, right? So, yeah, so you can think of uh, on those lines. For her, it was very close because this is a, her place where she grew up and where she was going to be ministering. So she uh, hopefully it helped her. Uh, and right now she's actually, uh, there's a church meeting in her house and she's ministering, etc. So uh, I'm sure it would have helped, you know, that find out that information to pray through, you know, on those lines. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so the thing is to have a you know have a weekly routine, <laughs> have a daily routine towards this because um, uh, you know since it's not like lectures or anything, it's it's going to be dependent on you um, to have a healthy you know deadline for yourself um, and a disciplined thing maybe daily, weekly. Um, so it's good if you can have something in place like saying okay every day i'll read so many articles or you know go through this information or at this you know this time i just a lot for independent research you know, on the topic um, maybe listen to some podcasts on the topic uh, listen uh, watch some videos on the topic uh, do some research so it's good if you have some of those things uh, in place right otherwise <laughs> it'll be it'll be April, and then we'll have to scramble together to put together a lot of things. I, um, like someone also, you know, reached that place and said, "I I don't want to do it." Right? It was the day before the presentations, and nothing had happened uh, all through the month. So, um, so just want to you know encourage you to have those things in place, timely reminders. Of course, these sessions that we have will help. Um, but uh, personally, you need to put something in your calendar and uh, keep it in place so that you can uh, finish on time, right? Okay, so uh, if any any other questions, anything that you'd like to discuss? Okay, so think about it, pray about it, uh, what you would like to uh, have as a topic. I think it's interesting, and uh, and it's. I'm looking forward. I'm excited because uh, um, we have a class of what uh, we have. How many of us? Ten of us. Eighteen. So 
to have 18 topics uh, and 18 you know inputs and some things i'm sure are very unique to where you are right now so i'm really excited to hear from you right what is it that what topic that you're going to be pursuing and i'm really excited about what is it that you're going to be presenting as well right so i'm i'm really looking forward to that and i uh, and i know it's going to be a very enriching uh, experience personally for me uh, to hear from each one of you um, so i'm really excited so yeah so it, it's um, uh, yeah it's, it's going to be it's going to be taking a lot out of you you know, so kind of, it's good to have that self-discipline and say, okay, I'm going to do this in a timely manner and uh, it'll be a very fruitful one. Yeah. Wonderful. So, yeah, I see your comment, uh, Harrison. <laughs> good. Okay, so we'll, we'll close here and uh, thank you. So, God bless. Any other clarification, you can also, you know, can put it on the stream any questions uh, so that it will help the class also okay um and uh, probably next class we'll we'll have a google sheet so there are there are no there's no overlap right um on topic so so you can put it there so no, no one else picks the same thing right um but of course you know if it's going to be something um geographical in nature some some place where you are i'm sure it'll be unique um, but even then you know to prevent overlaps we'll we'll just put a google sheet so each of us each of us each of you have access to it uh, and uh, yeah so there's no overlap right okay wonderful thank you so much god bless we'll uh, meet again next uh, tuesday for more on this right Bye-bye.